What's good, y'all? So listen, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick little Q and A real quick. You feel me? Cause when I started my YouTube channel, I ain't even like introduce myself or nothing. I just jump right in with the reaction videos. I ain't say my name. I ain't do none of that. You know? So I figured, you know, what better time than right now to like do a little Q and A, introduce myself, read a couple questions, answer them. I ain't gonna lie, I went on Google for these questions right here. It's like about, let me see, it's like ten questions. And shit, nothing crazy. First and foremost, my name is Rose Five. The F Y V is pronounced five, like the number five. You feel me? F Y V is an abbreviation for Folly of Vision. Uh, that's something that I believe that I stand for. Folly of Vision, whatever dreams you wanna accomplish, shit like that. You know, you gotta follow that. You gotta pursue that. But listen, that was just my own little. I just wanted to say that Rose Five, cause I, I don't know how some of y'all be probably be pronouncing the F Y V. Y'all probably be saying it F Y V, Five, whatever the case may be. I'm here to let you know it's five, number five. So number one, what inspired you to start your YouTube channel? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I used to do music, and I always told myself, like, I was going hard with the music. I done bought a whole bunch of equipment, um, $800 microphones, $1,000 fucking audio interfaces, $600 microphones, laptops, fucking, I done padded my room up and shit, but it's like, I used to do that. And I don't know what happened. I just lost the love for it. And I just stopped doing that shit. I was recording my own shit. I was engineering my own shit. And, you know, I feel like everything happens for a reason. Because I was doing music from, like, 16 up until, like, 22, 23. Right? I started my YouTube channel at 22. Bro, I kid you not. From 16 to 22, when I was doing music, I never passed. I never had thousands of views on my videos, my music. I never passed a thousand subs on my YouTube channel or nothing like that. I was still getting love, you know, from the people who knew me and shit. But, you know, the two years that I've been doing music, I surpassed all types of shit that I've never gotten with the music, you know? So it was just like, I don't know, it was, YouTube was just something that I feel like I always wanted to do. I always wanted to have that. And I even tried doing YouTube before on my laptop and shit, but, you know, my camera would always freeze. I have a MacBook Air, so, you know, I guess on OBS, me running OBS and running the internet and running YouTube and trying to record myself with the camera and trying to have the video play and all of that record at the same time, my shit would always freeze. My shit would always crash, you know, the air sound would pop up, that shit would start sounding like a PS4 whenever you turn it on, like it's about to blow up or some shit. But yeah, man, I don't know, I just wanted to try it out, you feel me? I just wanted to try it out. Number two, how did you come up with your channel name? Now, I ain't gonna lie, like I said just now, I used to do music, so when I was doing music, like, I didn't, I'm not gonna lie, I must have changed my name, my artist name, like, five six times bro no lie i used to all types of shit you know but rose five i don't know bro i just feel like it, it you know it fits me I, I fuck with it i like the name of it it like rolls off the tongue that's the type of shit that i be paying attention to do the words roll off the tongue good does it sound good does do you be like oh and i even try to compare my shit to like other youtubers names like oh you listen to this i mean you watch this person you watch this person you watch this person you watch rose five like i just try to like see if the name if if it sounds good you know if it sounds good so yeah i don't even know how i came up with that or the abbreviation follow your vision you know it just came to me and so i stuck with it number three what type of content can viewers expect to see on your channel listen right now i'm a reaction channel i did a little story time not so long ago right now i'm doing a q a i'll be going live sometimes i'll be streaming gaming i'll be playing black ops 2k you know the new 2k and the new black ops is about to drop so we gonna see what's up with that um i'm a chef low key i don't know how to cook i'll make you the best lasagna you done ever had bro i promise you the best chopped cheese you done ever had listen i really know how to cook so I want to get into that. I want to start cooking. I want to do all types of shit, bro. I, I even want to make more channels and do, you know, all types of shit. But for right now, the main thing right now, though, is just reactions and shit. It's just reactions, you feel me? Number four, what equipment do you use to film and edit your videos? So, 
I got an Elgato right now. I recently bought not so long ago an Elgato webcam, that 4K resolution shit. I use a little light ring cam, a light ring shit. I got a PC. I got two monitors. I use OBS. Uh, before this, I used to use a little webcam, a little shitty webcam. Um, and I also used to use like a regular like a regular camera that you use for t photography and shit but i don't know what's up with my pc i guess the camera i used to use a camera link connected to the camera and that shit would always make my camera freeze bro i still got videos on my youtube right now where if you was to watch it you just wait a little bit you gonna see like my camera will freeze so i would have to unplug it plug it back in and that shit just got annoying that was the best camera i've had that i used for a while and after a while, I'm like, nah, bro, I can't, like, continue. Like, it's just fucking up the video, bro. I keep freezing. I keep having to unplug and plug back in. It's just fucking up the video. And so, I had an old little webcam in my closet. Bad quality. Only went up to, like, 720p. But, you know, you can even see the little pixels and shit floating on the camera. But I had to use that for some months. At least a year I used that. I ain't gonna lie. And then, I saved up to finally buy a $300 camera. I got a like a twelve, thirteen hundred dollar PC. I got my two monitors. Listen, bro, I got a story. I got a whole story that I could tell about how I got my PC and being dedicated and holding shit down and making sacrifices. Listen, bro. But we, you know, we not gonna do that. We not gonna do all that right now. We not gonna do all that. We just gonna Probably stick like to the little, the little questions and shit. Number five. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers or creators who inspire you? First and foremost, Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle, R.I.P. J. Cole, Kendrick, Drake, Tory, Wayne. You know, these are my inspirations. 50, like just the grind, the hustle, they story, where they come from. Not so much Drake, not so much Drake, but mainly Nipsey Hussle. You feel me? Where they come from, what they done did. You know, they music just make me want to get up, grind, hustle, get some money and shit like that. As far as YouTubers, I ain't gonna lie. I used to watch Soul Illuminati. Flight is a goat. Cash is a goat. Um, Who else? Shout out to DDG. He a legend in this. Um, who the fuck else? It ain't really much. I'm not gonna lie to the number one youtuber that i probably watched a lot like consistently more than i ever have anybody else it's probably so illuminati bro 2016 2017 2018 bro i was in high school 10th grade 11th grade but if you wasn't alive at that not alive but if you wasn't paying attention to youtube at the time and everything that was going on was so cash flight everybody lsk everybody Come on, bro. That's a good time to be alive, bro. Great time to be alive. You just had to be there. That's one of those you just had to be there moment, bro. For real. Number six, what challenges have you faced so far in your YouTube journey? Man, challenges? I probably would just say, bro, because it's like, I'm not going to lie. I'm low-key like a perfectionist. So, like I was saying with my webcam and shit, I ain't have the good quality, the best quality. And it's like, bro, you just, I just had to hold that down, bro. I just had to hold that down. Sometimes when you don't have, you, sometimes you just got to use what you have, bro. Whether that be an iPhone, if you don't got a PC, if you don't got a good camera, bro, you got to just use what you have. Me, I'm the type, I always been the type, even back to the music, when I used to do music, I always been the type that I needed the best equipment. If I don't have the best equipment i'm not doing shit at all i need the best equipment i need the 600 dollars speakers i need the the 800 tlm 103 microphone and shit the newman microphone i need the fucking 800 dollars audio interface you know i still got an interface right here this is what i started off with right here the focus right you know this is like the this is like the common the common shit that everybody will get but after that i moved over to the 800 dollars apollo twin mk2 audio interface and yeah bro i just always been that type i ain't had the best camera you know i just had to hold it down and also uploading videos i wouldn't get no views i'll get five ten views three views no likes probably one two likes and nine times out of ten them five views them two three likes that shit was me that shit was me 
You know, I'm the one watching my videos. Ain't nobody clicking my shit. I'm not in the algorithm. I'm not in the YouTube homepage. None of that, bro. Nobody's commenting, commenting down below. But it's like, bro, even if nobody's watching your shit, even if nobody's subbing, even if nobody's paying attention, bro, you still gotta keep going, bro. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep posting. And listen, to some people, my channel may not be shit. I only got 1.17k subscribers right now as we speak. But to me, bro, that means a lot. Because I really started off with zero. I started off with zero views. And now my views is, you know, generating over 100 views, 200 views. Sometimes it reaches 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 views. For real. And I feel like that shit only comes with consistency. Because I feel like the more consistent you are, the more YouTube is going to start putting you in people's algorithm and suggested and next video suggestions and YouTube homes. I be going to my analytics and a lot of people be finding my videos on their YouTube home. You know, YouTube be putting their own shit, whatever they felt like putting. But if you signed into YouTube, depending on what it is that you be looking for or watching then my shit is gonna get recommended for example i'll be doing reaction videos to music let's say if, if kendrick was to drop right now and people be watching a lot people was watching kendrick music reaction videos then my shit is gonna pop up in the algorithm but it's like yeah but i don't know i guess it all just comes with like consistency and shit listen am i chatting am i chatting let me know this is the first time i do this shit bro <coughs> God damn. Chill, bro. Hold it down. Number seven. What are your goals for your YouTube channel in the next year? Listen, bro. I'm just grinding right now. I'm just focusing on me in all aspects of the world. And I mean, in all, you know, I'm focusing on me. I'm trying to grind. I'm trying to make these videos, put it out. Listen, bro. Whether it be with music, YouTube channel, my goal, I don't want to be the biggest. I don't want to be number one. If I'm doing this and that just so happens to come, cool. You feel me? I appreciate it. All glory be to God. All credits go to the most high. But my goal ain't really to be number one. My goal in life has always been to just live comfortably. Live comfortably. Have my own car. Multiple cars. <coughs> have my own crib. Be financially free. Be able to provide for people. My family. Shit like that. Not being able to clock in, have no nine to five, moving on another person's schedule and timing and shit. That's really my goal. I just want to live comfortably in life as I see fit, you know? But yeah, man. For the next year, bro, I still got a lot to do, bro. I gotta grind, I gotta come up, I gotta do this shit, bro. For real. Listen, how do you decide on topics for your videos and plan your content schedule? Whatever drops, bro, whatever social media it depends you know i be getting my news from academics bro i be getting my news from academics sometimes i'll be going on my youtube home explore page whatever i see that catches my eye i'll probably react to it it ain't like oh another thing i gotta get i gotta get a fucking vision board bro i gotta get a vision board for real add a little note on the side what i gotta watch what i gotta react to and shit but i don't know when it comes to like picking what i want to do and shit or what I want to react to and shit. I don't know. I just find it. If it catches my attention. If I find it interesting. I'm going to react to it. You feel me? And plan your content schedule. You see. Back to the analytics. I've noticed that a lot of people. It says that a lot of people mainly be on YouTube. Around 3, 4, 5 p.m. and shit. Usually I would drop my videos at 12 p.m. But I think I'm going to start switching it to like. 3, 4 p.m. and shit. Because if it says that's when people mainly be on YouTube, why not post them and everybody be on YouTube? You know? But, yeah, bro, it ain't really, like, no secrets to this shit. It ain't, it ain't no, no, no deep meaning behind this shit or nothing. You just get up and do that shit, bro. Get up and do that. Pay attention to your analytics so you could get a little better with the, with your schedule, dropping videos and shit like that. See what videos do what. You know, yeah, man. Number nine, how do you stay motivated and creative when brainstorming new video ideas? Listen, bro, I ain't perfect. Nobody's perfect. Right now, listen, my discipline be off sometimes. My motivation don't be here sometimes. I've, I done gone a whole month without posting a video and 
because you know you sometimes you just get down sometimes you don't see the results that you want to see that shit just make it brings you down but then you know you got uh, you gotta remember why you started this bro you gotta remember why you started this if this shit bro i'm not gonna lie to y'all this shit don't work out for me bro <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm in school right now. I'm in trade school for electrical, advanced electrical engineering and shit. Becoming a little electrician and shit. So, you know, obviously I got shit that I could do. But if this YouTube shit don't work out for me, bro, I don't know. I don't know. But it's okay, cause any like I'm I'm a, I'm gonna stop doing this shit. You see, that's another thing. I started this shit in 2022, bro. By 2023. Even by the beginning of 2024 this year, I could have been stopped because I wasn't seeing what I wanted to see. I wasn't seeing the 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 shit that I wanted to see as far as views, likes, subscribers, you know. But listen, bro, all, I understand that nothing happens overnight. Nothing happens overnight. You got to put in the work. You got to put in the grind. And another thing that you can do is compare yourself to other people. Because let's say if you was to start a channel, if you and somebody else was to start a channel right now, you may not blow up right now. You may not blow up in a year, two years, but they may blow up in six months, five months, less than a year, you know, but that's their journey, bro. You can't let shit like that bring you down. Everybody's life is different. Everybody's journey is different. Some people blow up, quote unquote, overnight. Other people got to really grind for their shit. And listen, what I've noticed is that a lot of people come and go when it comes to content, music, rapping. Whatever the case may be, people come and go. But the people who blow up overnight, they go the quickest. The people who grind for years and years, it's like you're building something, bro. You're building something, you're building the base, you're building a foundation. All of those years that you done built and you felt like nothing was really going on, or like you felt like you wasn't really receiving no motion, all of that matters. Because once you pop, once you pop and you go straight to the top, everything that you done built that's gonna keep you at the top there's like a base there there's a foundation there but the people who blow up overnight let's say one video or one song helps them blow up overnight bro, they, they they don't have nothing like they don't have the content they don't have the fan base they don't have the people who like saw you grind who brought you to the top slowly i feel like that shit matters way more than trying to achieve success overnight you know because but you know a lot of people be wanting shit overnight. A lot of people just want shit quickly. They just want to see a quick check. And you know, you know, people just end this shit for their own reasons. But you just got to hold it down, man. Number 10, what advice would you give to someone who's just starting out on YouTube? Easy, bro. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. Drop the video. Drop whatever. I done dropped two hour videos one and a half hour long videos them videos ain't do shit it ain't do shit it ain't gain me a sub it ain't do nothing but guess what sometimes sometimes you gotta go through that bro you gotta put in the work and the work that work that you put in may not result into anything you may not see nothing come out of that but guess what it is what it is bro it's part of the game it's part of the game even with a with a musician you know how long it takes to write a song i'm a, i always been a writer i never been the type to go in and just freestyle off the top and shit like that i always been a writer you know how long it takes to write a song the type of shit you got to think about the type of shit you got to come up with the 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 slick shit the the metaphors the all types of shit bro and then you waste all this time writing a song creating a song finding the instrumental all types of shit then you record it and you end up not liking the song you spent all this time probably weeks trying to make this trying to create this it all started in your head and it probably took you weeks to actually take your thoughts and bring it out make it a, like a reality bring it like into you know the physical so that you could be able to hear it see it, see it whatever the case may be and then you don't do shit with that bro you don't do shit with that a waste of time but guess what that's okay you gotta do that bro you gotta do that because even though you felt like it was a waste of time and you did it for no reason there's still a lesson in that bro come on bro you gotta be consistent you gotta be consistent you gotta drop 
yeah man that's pretty much all all there is to it i ain't gonna lie you even gotta clickbait a little bit clickbait a little bit bro the the amount of times that i upload a video and i change the thumbnail i change the title change the title three four times change the num change the thumbnail four or five times it's just like bro you gotta make the people click your shit you gotta make it, the people click your shit then once you get to a point a certain level you know some people will be doing reaction videos they don't even be putting the crazy thumbnails they just put a screenshot of their their camera their screen and they just use that you know the auto generated fucking thumbnails and shit that's what they be using me i be trying to create my own thumbnail because it's like i'm still coming up bro that's what that's what i gotta do let me scroll down a little bit questions for seasoned youtubers on oh, i ain't a seasoned youtuber reflecting on your journey how has content evolved since you started your youtube channel i don't fucking know bro how do you stay inspired and motivated to create fresh content regularly listen brian another thing mook bangs and all this shit god damn bro i don't even want to eat on camera bro i don't want to eat on camera i don't even like eating in front of people because it's like i hate hearing people chew so if i hate hearing people chew i know damn well other people hate hearing other people chew and i don't chew with my mouth open i ain't a sloppy eater but still it's like you could chew with your mouth closed and still hear the the gooiness the crunch and shit i hate that bro so it's like should i do a little mukbang i don't know bro i don't even really be eating like that for real what should i get Popeyes or some shit i don't fucking know bro but yeah it's just a 10 10 little questions get to know me questions i bet what's your favorite hobby or pastime like i'll be playing ball i'll be playing ball i'm really a shooter look the ball is right here you think i'm playing bro hold on my phone about to fall you think i'm playing the ball is right here i'm really i'm really hold on hold on you tripping bro come on i'm really a shooter i'm really a shooter you want to know what's crazy when i be playing 2k my players ain't shit my players ain't shit. I never been the type to sit there try to learn dribble moves or type all that type shit. I always played the K, 2K to have fun, bro. Just to have fun. If my player is nice, cool. If he's not, which he most likely won't be, I just don't know how to pick a good player, bro. I don't know how to pick a good player. I don't know how to pick a good jump shot. I don't know how to do none of that. But in real life, and I'm shooting lights out, bro. In real life, I'm shooting lights out. I'm telling you, I'm doing all types of shit, bro. I promise you. That's another thing irl basketball bro i'm on that bro i'm on that trust me anybody want to play 1v1 holla at me bro holla at me so i could drop you off listen i don't want to do it to you i'm telling you right now bro i don't want to do it to you but if you want to play me 1v1 we can set that up you know set that up i won't leave you on zip you know because your audience is watching this shit but just know i'm gonna do your bad bro i'm gonna do your bad can you share a childhood memory that has stuck with you shit bro i got bad memory bro what's your favorite book or movie and why oh i like that question right there god damn that's a valid question my favorite movies yo bro i don't know why but ever since i was a kid i always strictly fucked with movies like boys in the hood poetic justice minister society give rich a die trying paid in full above the rim love and basketball what else there's a whole bunch of classics out there bro the wood like that's the type that's the type of movies that i fuck with bro that i'll watch over and over and over i probably watch give rich a die trying i don't know how many times notorious i don't know how many times what else is out there that's the type of movies that they gotta get back to bro god damn what happened to them type of movies the last movie that came out like that that i could remember is straight out of compton which was a good movie you know notorious good movie that tupac movie i haven't even watched to this day you want to know why because i was seeing bad reviews about it i kept seeing that motherfuckers put an iphone in that movie or, and shit that whole shit was just bad so i never watched it but yeah those are my type of movies what's something about you that might surprise people i don't know bro i'm a chef bro i'm a chef i'm a chef i'm a man of many talents for real i know how to cook what's your go-to comfort food or guilty pleasure snack my go-to comfort food bro there's a restaurant around me 
a, a, a Spanish slash Chinese food restaurant. I begin they I begin they fried rice with they boneless chicken. Come on, bro, that's bad. But and you know I'm from NYC, so of course the regular Chinese spot you got to get your chicken wings, your 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 fried rice, or sometimes I get like the chicken broccoli, or sometimes I get like the boneless ribs. But the boneless ribs be a little too sweet sometimes. It depends on where you get it and shit. Was one thing on this my this is gonna be my last question too. Was one thing on your bucket list? that you hope to accomplish someday. Listen, man, like I said, my goal in life is just to be comfortable, financially free, have my own schedule, work on my own schedule, work on my own time. I don't wanna have no nine to five. I don't wanna clock in. I wanna have my own whips. I wanna have my own crib. You know, I'm, 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 I live in the projects right now, in the heart of the projects, bro, for real. So it's like, come on, man. Come on, bro. We gonna do this shit, bro. We gonna do this shit. Move my mom out, my family out. Come on, bro. Let's get it, man. But yeah, bro, that's the end of this video right here. I don't know. Did I do bad? Did I do good? Y'all let me know. And yeah, man. That's the end of this video right here. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below what you want to see me react to, talk about, make a video of. Yo, that's another thing. Y'all motherfuckers, yo, bro. Y'all don't be like, y'all need to let me know shit. Let me know what I, what I should do. Like, give me some ideas, bro. Come on. Like the video. Subscribe. All that type shit. I don't even like doing it. Because it's like, I don't want to force nobody to do nothing. I don't want to tell you what to do. I don't want people who just to just naturally gravitate towards me, you know? And subscribe, you know? I don't want to be one of them YouTubers that every second they tell me you. But I guess it's important. I don't know. I guess I just ain't there yet. But yeah, bro. Let me know what you want to see me react to and shit like that next. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one, bro. I'm going to holla at y'all.